So now our initial validation method. So if we copy the name, scroll down to the bottom, and after last method, comma, initial validation, colon, function, and then we have two curly brackets. Inside of this method, we start with the, uh, an empty array called valid equals and two square brackets. Now we have var form elements equals this dot form object zero index and we want to get all elements. Basically what it does, it takes all of the uh, form elements and puts them into array. Uh, using the zero index of the specific form object. Okay, now jQuery each loop uh, we put, uh, use this form element, so we're looping through all of them. Then function two uh, parameters index and element. Then uh, curly bracket closing and obviously semicolon at the end. Now we start with the variable ID, which will basically be element and its attribute ID. So let's say input with the ID of first name uh, will be assigned uh, first name. We will assign actually first name to this ID. Then we have var val equals element. And we're looking for value of this element. So whatever has been, has been typed into this val, uh, input tag, or if it's a checkbox, whether the, the value is obviously um, empty or not as well. Then we have vary uh, type, which is element dot attribute type. Now with the checkboxes, we're going to be validate them, uh, validating them a little bit uh, in a little bit different way than just checking the value, obviously, but we still need to collect these values here. So the first condition will be if element dot has class, and we're looking for the class object value validation dot class required as you may remember we've created this class required uh, property in this uh, object already and we assign basically the class name there and it's going to be simply warning now we check exclamation mark element attribute disabled meaning if element isn't because we've got exclamation mark at the beginning disabled and element is visible. So if all these three conditions are true, then we will validate it. Now, why do we use disabled and visible? Let's say you've got a, a select menu, and depending on the selection, some of the fields are disabled and some not. And is disabled, we don't want to validate them because obviously, even though if even though they may be required when the specific selection takes place, uh, if they are disabled, they, are, they should be ignored. So obviously we're checking if they are disabled, we, we, we're not interested in this field, basically. The same about visible. You may be hiding some fields until the specific selection has taken place. Uh, so obviously we're checking whether they, they have to be visible, they, have to be, they, they cannot be disabled, and obviously they have to have class required assigned to them. So all these three conditions have to be met in order for us to validate this input field. Okay, after, if all these three conditions are actually returning true, then we create a switch statement. And the parameter here will be type. So depending on the type of the specific element, we're, doing, we're going to be validating them differently. So let's move to the next video and look at our first type of the form element.